How were you feeling at halftime about 15 with having a 15 turnover? Yeah, it was a uh, bizarre first half. We obviously shot the lights out, but uh, you know, we weren't executing very well at all. Um, so did a much better job in the second half, uh, only six, including the one at the end, um, which was a shot clock violation. So better job in the second. Those guys play really hard. Houston plays um, their physical, switch everything, you know, got underneath us. So they forced a lot of those turnovers, but uh, our guys adapted and did a good job. The last, the last couple wins, you guys have really touted your defense as the backbone, but tonight, like a lot of offense. What did you see from, from your shooting, scoring, shot selection, all that? For, uh, what did I offense? see? Offense? Well, we, like I said, we shot it well. We didn't execute well. Um, too many turnovers, but um, the key to the game was our defense. So Trace and Draymond together um, have changed our, our team. I mean, it's, um, it's, Pretty dramatic, just the rim protection, the rebounding that, that Trace gives us, what that allows Draymond to do. Um, it's been really fun to watch them together. Trace is, uh, you know, for a rookie, it's um, amazing what he's doing. Yeah, I mean, following up on Trace's first 20 point game of his career, how have you seen him evolve uh, just into a more complete player? from the start of the season? Well, he's gaining a lot more confidence, I think, with, with the extra playing time uh, here in the second half of the season. And um, he was already a very uh, sound player fundamentally. Um, but um, you know, the NBA is different from the college game. You have to feel it. You have to see the pictures and feel the actions people are running, the pace, the tempo, and you know, learn all the personnel. And he's doing a really good job with all of that. This recent win streak, along with them losing a few in a row, basically, you know, kind of seals that, that you're going to be in that 10. I mean, is that how much did you feel them breathing down their neck, uh, your neck the last few weeks, and how good do they kind of feel to somewhat put them away? Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're not thinking about any of that. We're just trying to win. And, um, you know, so we're, we're we're on a nice run right now and uh, playing good basketball, and we're going to keep doing that for the next six games and see where we land. That lineup with Trace and Draymond together um, started the game hot, closed the first half really strong again to start the second half. It's kind of like a sample size with them playing really well. Is it going to be a little bit tough to go away from that five wins once Jonathan comes back? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's uh, you know we've 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 established something here um, for years. Um, if we're playing well, we generally keep the same starting lineup. And um, I mean, I've kept Steph and Draymond out of the starting lineup when when, when they've been in that situation. So um, we'll see how we play it. Um, you know, we've got um, some guys banged up. Uh, Wiggs obviously missed the whole fourth. Um, so I, you know, we'll see how healthy we are tomorrow and figure out our lineup. But um, you know, my philosophy is always if if you're if you're playing well, you keep doing the same thing. What did that mean? Yeah, I tweaked his ankle. Not bad though. Coach, when you look at that um, Houston Rockets team, what is the difference that you've seen in them in this season? Especially like you were able to lean on your veterans there, a young team still trying to get over that hump. Uh, well, it's a natural progression um, of their young players, Jalen Green, Jabari. Um, they've they've improved dramatically, and um, but that's what you expect, you know, in year three, um, whatever it is, year three, year four. Um, you know, you you're, when you get super young guys uh, like those guys are, like Kaminga, like Moody, you know, 19 year olds who come into the league, it, it takes time and. Uh, I think Ime's done a great job. Um, you know, the play, the young guys are developing. Um, the addition of uh, Dylan Brooks and Fred Van Vliet gave them uh, really good defense and, and toughness in the backcourt and shooting. And so they've, uh, you know, they're putting together a nice, nice nucleus. And, and Ime's doing a great job with them. What kind of tone did play set tonight with the way he came out shooting? The Man, ball? he was smoking. It was uh, that was fun to watch. I mean, he was feeling it right from the beginning, and um, you know, when you when you can jump out to a lead like that and force the other team to play upstream the rest of the game, it puts a lot of pressure on them. Season high six straight wins. Do you feel like this team's peaking? You know, kind of at the right time, and do you even like believe in that as a concept? Um, I just know that our defense um, is 
playing at the best level it has all year. We haven't won six games in a row until now all year, so um, it's probably the best we've played. Um, but, you know, I've been uh, kind of sharing that with you guys over the last couple months that I've felt like we could rattle off 10 in a row at any time. And, you know, it's um, I know it's late in the year, but um, if we keep going, keep winning, um, you know, it'll be it'll be a lot of fun to have a shot, um, you know, in the postseason. So we gotta gotta keep plugging away. Thank you. Kind of groove. Um, How'd you describe the groove that you guys have found these last six games? This win streak here. Um, I just think that uh, it's our defense, and our defense is really. Um, helping our offense. But when you start out the game on the runs that we have on the defensive end of the floor and kind of taking them out of it, and then we have two of the greatest shooters. So screening for them, getting them shots, um, it's good. Draymond has always talked about, I guess a couple guys on the team have always talked about just like the desire and hunger to play defense and where that comes from. He starts way before the NBA stuff. Has that always been something that you, as a big as a player, have enjoyed? Um, yeah, I think um, just blocking shots, um, that's something I've always enjoyed doing. But this year, just having a big emphasis on guarding on the perimeter. Um, and I think that's where the next step in my, my game that I want to take and challenge myself to guard some of these guys. And so just proving to myself that I can do it. But yeah, overall, I just think when our team has that defensive minded um, game plan, um, it's great for us. How comfortable do you feel offensively? Your career high 20 points tonight. Um, just how comfortable are you feeling? Not only reading you know, your scoring opportunities, but also kickouts and, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Seems like you're comfortable with that, that too. Um, I'm just taking what the defense gives me. Um, staying aggressive, but at the same time, knowing that if a guy comes in, um, kicking it out because we got shooters everywhere on the floor or, or a guy diving. So, um, but yeah, just doing my part. When Clay gets hot like he did in that first half, how much fun is it to be playing with him? Oh, it's great. Um, Clay, whenever whenever he sees that first one go in, just going and hunting him and just trying to screen for him because at the end of the day, I know one of those times I'll be able to get a slip like I did with CP. Clay kind of started the Trace Jackson Davis all-rookie team push. <laughs> um, is that something that's on your radar, and is that a goal of yours? Um, I mean, at the end of the day, I just go out there and play as hard as I can, um, and then I let that do the talking, so. <laughs> All right, are we good? Good. You seem to traditionally shoot pretty, pretty well in this building. How much do you like shooting here? <clears throat> um, well, definitely good memories. And it helps when the weather was as nice as it was today. It was a really beautiful day in Texas, so. Felt great all day. Were you aware of? I mean, the math is kind of not obvious, but of just the implications on this game and, and the ten seed race, and how much was that? You know, talked about yeah. on your your mind individually. Yeah, well, I was aware, and uh, we know this. What is what's at stake, and um, we know how important these last uh, seven, eight games, whatever it is, are. So, I thought we played up with the sense of urgency we needed to get it done, and. That was what's most important. How much did Steve said he felt that the, the Draymond Trace front court has really helped the defense? How much, you know, to be part of that starting lineup uh, has the defense kind of you know, developed in the back a little bit? Well, both those guys are so good around the rim. I mean, you saw last game Draymond with the game clinching block, Trace with uh, his ability to rebound and finish. I mean, had almost uh, he had a great night tonight, 20 points, incredible efficiency, and great defense. And I was impressed with his strength around the rim to snatch up these rebounds and secure the possession for us. That was very impressive for a rookie. That's that's uh, that's just being a tough-minded player. I think on one play, two closed out to you, and you found Trace slipping. Um, I guess just how have you seen him? kind of pick up the nuances of the offense as the season has gone on? I mean, Trace is one of the best players at Indiana in the, in the college scene. So 
when you play for four years and you're NBA ready, I mean, you can tell he's been coached very well and his fundamentals are very good and he's NBA ready player and the value we get from him of 50 something pick, it's very special and give our front office credit for that and give Trace a ton of credit for just his readiness as a professional. It's uh, very impressive and he's had such an incredible year. I, I would assume he would be on one of these all rookie teams. He's playing that well. Seemed like you guys heard the, uh, that uh, Warriors come out to play. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty lame, especially if you're not even playing. Like, it's one thing if you're playing and you're out there competing and you can back it up, but if you're just going to be trolling from the sideline, like, bro, what are we doing? Like, the times we talk mess, at least we're out there competing. I'm not going to, that's all I have to say about that. What do you think the uh, Trace Draymond front court pairing has done for the defense? I mean, it's no secret we are a smaller team in general. Um, early in the year, before the, uh, you know, Draymond missed some games, there was you know a little bit of him at the five, or a lot of him at the five, and even when he came back. And he's obviously capable of doing that, but on a night-to-night -night basis, um, it's helpful to have, you know, that presence in there. Same thing Loon's done for us for, you know, so many years. Um, Trace has filled that role. It gives Draymond a little bit more freedom to, you know, be a pest out there, being, you know, help side, be able to attack the ball, knowing that there's some a presence on, you know, behind him. Trace has done an unbelievable job of learning how to be aggressive and pick and choose the spots on how to protect the rim and just play sound defense, and then we're trying to fly around around that. And it even helps to have Wiggs, you know, applying so much ball pressure to their primary score. So pieces are, you know, a fit. How comfortable do you sense Trace is becoming on the offensive end as well, not just finishing, but knowing when to kick, kick out the shooters and whatnot? He's seen the pictures really well. And it's a you know a message and reminder for him to even be a little bit more aggressive. You know, looking to attack the rim, especially if they're going to try to sell out and taking our threes away and either blitzing the ball screen. He's fully capable of catching. He's got good good feet, good feel. Um, he made a kick out pass to Clay off a drop down pass. He finished. He obviously had 20 tonight, so it was. Um, a great display of feel in, in that respect of him picking and choosing what, what he wants to do when he gets the ball. Isn't it nice to know, at least from here out, you'll way more than likely be in at least a top 10 seed, so now you can kind of start looking up more than just a, up a bottom line? I think for us, we just have to, whatever the motivation has been for each one individually, whether you're looking at below or up or wherever you're looking, keep looking there because it's a matter of us maintaining this momentum because more than likely it's going to be, you know, you have to win one game to stay alive, you know, in a couple of weeks. So I don't really care what anybody's looking at. Just keep our focus on what we've been doing as the results have been able to, to show we're, we're locked in and we're motivated. What do you think has been the key to this team's success during your um, six-game winning streak? Mainly defense. Um, we know we can score against most teams, <clears throat> but uh, defensively has been our calling card when we've won at the highest level. You know, we've usually been top five, maybe top ten defense, and I think in that span we've kind of hit those hit those numbers, and that gives us a great chance, especially on the road. And our record on the road has been great because of that. This team is uh, the Sham Rockets team was very close to you all a couple of weeks ago. There were some remarks that was made, but how much of that competitive fire fuels you all? That stuff helps, but we don't need any extra motivation. Um, we're a, a proud group of guys that understand we are capable of winning. We've played way below our level, I think, for most of the year, but for us to be in this situation where we have an opportunity uh, to keep hope alive and, you know, see what happens in a, in a couple of weeks to try to get into a playoff series, like, just because we dug deep and, you know, this it matters to us. And 
really, if if you don't have that drive internally, you're not really gonna get it from it. It's all fake if you get it from somebody else. But it does help to hear some noise. Were you were you clicking three empty bottles on the bench? Yeah, absolutely, having some fun with it. How about the? Uh, I mean, you celebrated a foul call pretty uh, substantially. What uh, I guess what was that about? Uh, yeah, just happy to get a call that I felt like was pretty obvious. There was one last game that I know there's like a still shot of Gafford all across my arms and the body and the whole deal, and I didn't get any, any free throws on it. Like, I'm not a foul baiter and not a guy that uh, tries or tried not to complain. It happens from time to time. But uh, you can also celebrate when it goes your way, too, uh, even if it's a little – out of place or demonstrative, but just having fun with it. How do you avoid like not letting, not getting calls take you out of your game? You had five free throws in five. Fifteen games. years of experience. <laughs> what do you say, Steph, about this young Rockets team? You've had a chance to see them a few times. What do you see in them? Physicality. I think uh, <clears throat> trying to form an identity around. You know, using their athleticism to their advantage, they're a team that you see it tonight. They think they've got on a winning streak because they try to, you know, unleash their athleticism on the defensive end, try to, you know, force you into turnovers. Obviously, Jalen's playing at a high level these last 10, 15 games. And, you know, they they found something. And it's something to build off of, especially where they've been the last three years. So. There'll probably be a you know a problem to deal with in the next couple of years, but um, you know, it takes time to build that identity, and you know, obviously you just you Doka's first year, so uh, I'm sure he'll have them in a pretty good place moving forward.